let me create a variable called x so i'm gonna write here x equal to let's say i'll write srikanth okay and let's try to print that variable above this line okay on line number three now i will write console dot log uh, let's write here x okay now guys tell me what do you think we'll get in the output okay so let's go to browser you see guys we got undefined right now let me do one more scenario i will write here console dot log and here i'm gonna write grid now let's come to the eighth line and let's write here function expression so i'm gonna create a variable called greet and i will assign a function to it function right now i'll open brackets and here i will write console dot log and here let's write greet sorry uh, let's write here hi and function expression so guys i am creating a function expression and i'm trying to access it before writing the function expression okay i'm printing that one now tell me what do you think we'll get in the output in this case so let me go to browser you see guys here also we got the same thing we got undefined now what is the story of this undefined so guys before single line of this code is executed when you run this javascript file a global execution context is created and that global execution context is created in two phases one is memory creation phase and the other one is execution phase in memory creation phase memory is allocated to variables and functions which we called as hosting okay and in that memory creation phase when the memory is allocated to when the memory is allocated to variables and functions for variables instead of assigning the actual value it will provide a default initialization or it will give a default value or a label that is called as undefined okay so that means it will not assign this srikanth for value x for variable x in memory creation phase instead it will write something called undefined undefined and in execution phase in the second phase this undefined will be replaced by this actual value which is called srikanth okay so that is why whenever you are trying to print this x before writing it before initializing it we are getting something called undefined in the same way whenever you are trying to access or whenever you are trying to call this greet function before initializing it or before writing it you will get something called as undefined here i have created a separate video on hosting which will explain in depth about hosting okay and i highly recommend you to watch this video and then come back to this current video because before learning about debugging you need to understand what hosting is actually right that is why and you can see in the memory creation phase in the creation phase for a variable name undefined is given this is what i'm telling okay and there is one more thing if i go to vs code i'll write here function statement so before that let me write console dot log i'm going to write here greet 2 okay and let's create a function expression here so i'll write function and sorry function and i'll write greet 2 and i'll open these brackets and here i will write console dot log and i will write here hi this is function statement okay guys now tell me what do you think you will get output in this case in this scenario so let's check that if i go to the output you see guys first one is undefined which you already know but second one you can see the entire function is printing here we are not getting undefined why is that because as i said in memory creation phase memory is allocated to variables and functions but in case of functions in case of functions instead of undefined entire function will go and sit there okay so that is why when you are trying to access this function before itself or when you are trying to even if you try to call this function before initializing it or before writing it you will still get output you will still get valid output see you are still you are getting ifs it's not throwing any error okay the reason for that is hosting so now whenever you see undefined in the output you will immediately understand why it is getting and what are what is happening behind the scenes okay now let's move on let's go to one more thing that is e is not defined okay e is not defined is simple guys uh, let's say i'm going to write something called console dot log here i'll print something called z right now let me go to chrome yeah you see we got z is not defined so we get this kind of error or we get this e is not defined error when you try to access or when you try to print something that doesn't exist in the file that doesn't exist in the code now this z is not defined anywhere javascript doesn't know or javascript has no idea about what this z is okay so in this kind of scenarios we will get output something called e is not defined in case of here in case in case of this undefined javascript knows about these variables it knows about this uh, x it knows about this greet to it's just that in the memory creation phase 
it's just that in the memory creation phase they there will be undefined and that is why when you access them before you'll get undefined but in case of z it doesn't know about z at all because there is nowhere you mentioned z okay so that is about e is not defined now let's see something called cannot access before initialization okay so what is this one now let me create a variable called let let c equal to let's say i write here satali okay and i will print the same thing here i will write here console dot log and i'll write c here you see guys the same thing i am doing here also i have written x and i have written c kant and i have printed that before that line the same thing i am doing here but only thing is that i am using let keyword okay i am writing let c satali and i am trying to print log c now let's go to browser before that let me comment this one okay yeah now let's go to browser you see guys we got cannot access c before initialization now you will get a doubt here also we are doing same thing and here also we are, do we are doing same thing but in this scenario we got undefined but here we are getting something called cannot access before initialization now why it is happening so guys the answer again lies in hosting okay so let me go to google yeah so as i said in memory creation phase memory is allocated to variables and functions and for the variables it will be undefined but for the variables which you create using let and const keyword for those keywords a default initialization or a default or a default labeling which is called undefined will not happen that means they will sit in memory javascript knows about them but it will not assign this undefined to them okay here at least these things have undefined and that is why we are getting undefined but here you don't have anything the default initialization is also not there but you are trying to access them so that is why it is telling hestikant the default initialization or the initialization has not at all happened how can i access that c okay literally that is what this error is throwing us okay so that is all about cannot access c before initialization now same thing happens with function expression also for example uh, let me write here console dot log i'll write here uh, let's say y and i'll come here i'll create function expression let me copy the above one yeah this is function expression i'm going to write it here and let's change the value to let or we can write const both things are same okay and here i'll write instead of great i'll write here y okay and let me hide this one for now yeah let me go to browser you see guys we got cannot access y before initialization awesome right now there is one thing i want to tell guys here we have a const variable called y and we are accessing that before on line 28 and we are getting something called cannot access before initialization so that means javascript knows about this variable called y it knows about this this is there in the memory only difference is that it cannot access it okay so the phase or the period or the phenomenon where let and const keywords are hosted but not accessible is known as temporal dead zone okay let me go back to vs code yeah let's move on to next one which is called null so let me write here null null guys null means literally a way of assigning or a way of telling that variable has no value okay so let me create a variable here let's say i will create a var box and here i will write null so here i am telling this box has no value this box variable name has no value okay and this is different than undefined guys because undefined is given by javascript actually as part of as part of its execution or as part of its architecture it is given by javascript but here null i am telling i am explicitly telling that this box variable has no value okay so that is why this null and undefined are different and let me type here console dot log i'll print a box variable okay and let me comment this one yeah now let's go to browser you see we got null okay now let's do uh, let's do some interesting things okay so i'm going to write here console dot log i'm going to write type of undefined actually so t type of undefined yeah now tell me what will i get in the output so let's go to browser you see we got undefined now let's do the same thing let's copy this one and let's paste it down here and let's write here null let's write here something called null now tell me what will i get the output so if i go to browser you see guys in case of undefined we got undefined but in case of null we got object weird right so guys this happening because this is a bug in javascript in starting itself they have created they have created it like that okay so just remember if you type console.log type of null we'll get object 
okay so this will help in interviews so that is why i'm telling now let's do few more interesting things i'm going to write here console dot log let me write here null equal to equal to undefined okay yeah now tell me what we'll get in the output so if i go to browser you see guys we got true the reason is it's a loose equality operator double equal to and javascript still considers these both things as same so that is why we got true now let's do one more thing let's copy this entire thing and let's paste it here and here i'll put one more equality which will become strict equal to okay and here i'll remove this one now tell me what will get output here so let me go to browser you see guys now we got false so when we strictly compare them when we strictly compare them without changing anything without changing any data type here coming to loose equality operator it will change one of its data types it will perform type coercion and it will print and will compare after performing type coercion only it will compare but in case of strict equality it will compare the values as they are okay so now in this case it will print something called false when we compare them strictly so this is about undefined and null now we have one more thing that is nan yeah as it says nan is nothing but not a number so guys there are some operations or there are some there are some certain scenarios where the output want to tell us it's not a number or the javascript tries to tell the result is not a number okay for example let's say i will write here console dot log 1 plus undefined it's weird right because one is a number and undefined is something else now when you try to add these two things the output will be definitely not a number it will be something else but not a number so that is why in the output we'll get as nan okay now let's do one more thing i will write here something let's say console dot log let's say math dot we have a method called square root sorry square root yeah so let me write here one now let's see what will get in the output so let me go to browser yeah you see we got output as one now let's do one more thing let's put it minus one right now let's see what will get if i go to browser you see we got nan so nan is nothing but like this there will be different operations where the output will be given as or the output will be the output will be thrown as not a number okay guys we have covered uh, undefined is not defined cannot access before initialization null not a number okay so we have covered all these things that's it for the video guys i hope you found this video useful please give it a like and consider subscribing guys thank you